Hey there, how's it going? I'm Brian Pickle, and welcome back for another episode of Pickleton. So we're getting started with something a little bit different here today, um, jumping into a little bit of a time lapse while I kind of set up the area that we're going to use today for something that I'm really excited to do um, and I've been wanting to do for a long time in both City Skylines 1 and City Skylines 2. And since I hadn't really played around with mods too much, I had never gotten around to doing it. With City Skylines 2, the fact of the matter is, is that mods are pretty much essential at this point. So I've kind of gone all in. I'm not going too crazy. I'm still not trying to do anything that's game changing necessarily, but definitely some tweaks that just make my life a whole lot easier and make things a little bit more fun and aesthetically pleasing for you guys to watch. So hopefully, hopefully I've achieved that and I want to keep it so that, you know, most of the people can do and replicate what I'm doing if they would like to. So I'm not doing any like move it stuff or anything like that. I have opened up the developer mode though. Uh, and that is specifically be because the fine stuff mod is not available on the paradox mods quite yet. So the only way to get some of that functionality that I had previously with fine stuff is to have the developer mode open. And I will be making extensive use of it in today's episode for a couple things. And to use the words of city planner play, I'm going to call a little bit of a mulligan on the area that I had built here previously. And also I'm not sure if it quite fits in this scenario, but I'm I'm gonna cheat a little bit to get a specific building that I want from the latest beach assets pack. I definitely will not be or unlocking it organically anytime soon and it just is too on the nose for today's build to go without. So without further ado let's get into what we're building today and that is going to be a luxury golf course residential neighborhood. So you probably, if you've taken a look at the Beach Assets Pack, you know which asset I want to use, and that is going to be the Golfer's Villa, which comes from the signature buildings for the European theme, and you have to have 10,000 squares of Beach Asset properties. So I'm definitely not getting there today, so, or anytime probably while I'm playing this game in this city. So I'm foregoing the actual achievement there, and I'm going to just use the dev mode to unlock that building. And uh, I am, I have a rough idea of what I want to do, but I haven't actually planned it out all that well. Sometimes I plan things, I get it really good, I can't replicate it, and then it looks like garbage. So I'm kind of just gonna wing it and see organically what I come up with. So enjoy that journey. Okay, so apologies if that time lapse was a little bit just disjointed. I had had to start it over again. And then when I went back into it, I forgot to press play on the recording. So it might be a little bit all over the place, but basically in essence, all I did was get rid of everything we had here previously. Now I know that one thing that is maybe gonna cause people to give me a little bit of a side eye is I got rid of all of our farms here. And like that is the biggest area of farms that we have kind of in this playable map. Uh, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I know that that might, you know, affect our production and things like that, but I, I am considering using the um, advanced surfaces or something that it's called mod to kind of maybe make some farms somewhere else in a more organic way. I mean, normally this would all realistically be fertile land, so trying to simulate that. But anyway, that's a problem for another day. I got rid of the farms. We're just going to have to deal with it. Anyway, so back to the original plan, back to the plan, what we're going to do is build a golf course. So I would like to center them mostly around this lake and then also kind of along here in this large area. Now, I actually even went through the trouble of trying to figure out exactly how long the average golf hole is, like how long from T to hole is certain golf courses. And so they can range anywhere up to depending it's different for men and women but roughly 220 yards to 670 yards. That is the full range from the lowest for the lowest distance for women and the highest distance for men. So, depending on from par three to par six. So I went through all the trouble to figure that out so I can measure and try to realistically recreate what a golf hole, like a golf course would look like. I don't know that we'll get 18 in, I'm just gonna kind of wing it and see what we end up with. 
but just to try to get the scaling a little bit accurate so that it doesn't look too weird. So, but that's for later. We'll be building the golf courses later and I'll show you exactly how I plan to do that when we get to that step. But to start off, what I would like to do is use one of the buildings, as I mentioned, from the new asset pack. And that is gonna be the golfer's villa. And I want that to be kind of the focus of this area. So, um, just again, to look at it, it is in the European theme of the signature buildings. And it's the second one to unlock, and you have to have 10,000 cells of waterfront housing. So I'm wondering if, actually, now that I say that out loud, we are supposed to also have a waterfront promenades or some other kind of asset pack that has to do, it has to do with like waterfront stuff because that's the whole theme of this expansion pass for this season, this year, really. Um, so I wonder if those will be included in that in the future as well. But that's just speculation. And then also lodging goods. It says that I have them produced. Also, it says I don't have them produced. I definitely do. That's probably just a little bug. We're not going to worry about it. And in fact, we're going to bypass this entire situation. And I'm going to get it from the dev mode. Because I want it. I need it. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to cheat on that one here. So we're going to open up our developer mode. And the annoying thing with this is that like, once you open it, if you close it, you can't get access to it again until you like close your game out. But we're going to, we're going to work with it and see how well we can get through this. Um, and if I have to restart, I have to restart. It's not an issue. I'll obviously cut that out of the video. So we want to go into, um, buildings. That's what I want. Not props. We want residential and we want EU signature buildings. We want the low water residential low waterfront signature too, I think should be the one that we want. So if I go ahead and place this, that is the golfer's villa. So that's perfect. And I know I'm already going to regret this because this doesn't mean that I have to close this out, but I, I, I can't have this on the screen. So I got to go. It's got to go. And even through the developer mode, it looks like you can only place it once, but that's fine. We only need one of them. So we're going to have it somewhere in this area. Let's see if I can turn off the overlay. Since they've done the update, the I button no longer turns off the overlay. So uh, I'm not really sure if that's an issue that I'm having or like I messed something up or if that's just how it is. But so we're going to go ahead and place this, I think kind of right along this area here. So it backs up right against the lake. And we'll probably have some paths and stuff going through here as well. But I think about here, maybe a little bit further back, sounds good. So I think that'll do. And now what I want to do is grab our two-lane roads and bring them up. I kind of want it to have what here we're gonna start with an alley and I want to make a circular drive here okay so we got our nice little circle there and that's what I want to have there and then what from here I want to have it come out with a regular two-lane road let's turn all of our snapping back on and I'm okay with it kind of winding a little bit and I want it to come out and meet up about here so we'll go out from 90 degrees here, and then we'll kind of work our way over from about here. Have it join in, hopefully nice and smoothly, just like that. Now what I want to do is go through with our road services tool, and I want to upgrade everything to grass on both sides. And I would do the trees lining as well, but I want to use some of the new palm trees. So I'm going to forgo them for now, and I'll do my own tree detailing along the roads kind of when we're finished with everything. And just ignore these two buildings. I didn't want to delete the Pop Musician Mansion because I've gotten rid of a lot of low density housing, which you'll see in next week's episode that I've already recorded before this one. I wanted to get through winter, so I kind of decided to record something before this. Anyway, it's not really a super relevant. And then just a radio mask that I want to eventually place back somewhere. So what we're going to do now is continue with our alleyway roads. I like that they're small and I think that just kind of fits the vibe of like what we're going for here. 
So I'm going to use these and we'll have a couple. We'll leave this roundabout clear. But we'll have a couple coming off of here. So we'll start with a straight road tool. Um, looks like it's not quite going to be 90 degrees because this isn't. Oh, there we go. I found the one spot. So um, we'll go out at 90 degrees there to get a nice straight road in there. And then we'll kind of wind it around. And I think I'm going to turn on the contours so we can kind of avoid going up into this massive hill. And so we'll bring this back down here. And I kind of want to stay in the middle of this. So I could have zoning on either side if I want to. Though again, part of this area will be taken up by um, the actual golf courses. So we'll see. There we go. So that's going to be our first area all set for where we're going to have the houses. And so this will be like the main entrance sort of to both the golf course itself and also maybe even like a leasing center for the fancy condos that are going to be in this area. Whatever you want to whatever you want to imagine this to be. That's what this build the golfer's villa is going to be. So this would be like the clubhouse for the for the golf course and everything, you know, where all those rich people go and get their fancy lunches. Okay. And then also over here, we're going to kind of have like an extension area of this coming from this side. So we'll grab our straight two lane road again. And we'll bring it out from this side at about 90 degrees. And I feel like what makes a lot of sense probably is to have somewhere where there's a nice big parking area. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this area. And we'll grab a large parking lot. I don't think we need a very large one. So I think this will do. And let's grab an alleyway road here at 90 degrees. And we'll grab that parking lot again. Have that close in right there. So we'll close that off how we normally do. And it looks like it's a little bumpy, but yeah, no, that's way too bumpy. I don't like that at all. So let's let's I don't know why that's like that. Because uh, it doesn't look too bad. We'll try that again. And we'll put a nice big roundabout on this one just one that we have and we'll grab our alleyway roads again and we'll make some more of these windy roads so we'll have one come out from this direction at a 90 degree angle and then it got rid of my there we go and then we'll grab our continuous tool and we'll kind of float it around the water here and eventually i'll go through and actually turn this into a proper beach if there's any there's a couple gripes that I have about the latest pack, but if there's one of the biggest ones is that we don't actually have beach like textures in the game. So it makes making beaches a little bit difficult in the sense of like they don't actually look like beaches because we don't have sand, basically. So we'll go ahead, uh, but that's that's probably like my biggest complaint about the latest pack. And also the price point is a little bit steep. Okay, so there's another area there, and we'll come off over here. Maybe if we can get like a 90 degree angle out of here. Perfect. And then we'll go through and do some more windy roads. Okay, and I think that'll do as far as our road layout goes. Now, of course, what we need to do is start zoning up a little bit of the housing. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do the actual golf courses first and then the housing. Just to make sure that I didn't leave enough room for the golf courses, for the actual the greens. So, actually, yeah, that is definitely what I'm going to do. So, I think what the first thing that I want to do is actually grab our landscaping tools and grab a pathway. And so I can start measuring out a little bit of how long I want some of these golf greens to be. So from 220 yards to 670 is the kind of range that we want here. And so I think I can probably get two or three in here.
And I think that should be plenty. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how this is turning out, actually. So what we're going to do is, if you've not used the developer mode, it is actually really simple. I just Googled how to do it, how to like set it up, and it's a really simple process. Um, I will link the Wikipedia article that I used to find out just like the code that you put in to do so, as well as uh, a video from Teddy Radko, who is an amazing creator who kind of discovered the dev mode. As far as I'm aware, he was like the first one to post about it. So I'll link both of those down below and hopefully in the corner of this video, in case you want to check out how to do that if you haven't already. It is very simple, but there are a couple limitations. So definitely check out Teddy Radko's video on it because he goes into detail about what you can and can't do and the problems that might arise. So now what we're going to do is open up the dev, dev mode. And once you, if you do have it, all you have to do is press home and that opens up this little side thingy here. And we're going to go into surfaces and we're going to go, we'll, we'll check out both of these. Grass surface one and two. So I'll just make a quick little patch of grass here just to kind of see, oops, that's fine, what we want it to look like. So I think we probably want the one that looks very manicured. So we'll go with grass surface two. We can just get rid of these guys. And then I also want a couple other things. I want sand surfaces because we always need to have, of course, some sand patches to go along with our little areas. Um, you know, some sand traps is what I mean. So actually, I've decided, OK, so I know what I want to do. I'm going to use grass surface one for the for the main part of the course grass surface two or like the putting hole. I think that'll be good. And then we'll use some of the, the sand surfaces in between. So I think the easiest thing to do, because I don't think you can overlap them. Let's uh, let's try this again. But we have sand surface here and then let's see what happens if I put grass surface. Yeah, they overlap. So I know that with anarchy, I think you can avoid that issue. That one is another one of the mods that I don't have, but there's still ways around this. So we're going to play around with it, but if you're going to do it this way without Anarchy on, you're going to have to make sure that you plan which areas you want to have first. So you kind of work backwards. So if I want the green, the uh, the putting green to be on top, I want to have that part fig figured out first and then also my sand traps. And then I can go through with my other grass surface and finish off the entire area. So why don't we just go ahead and start with one of them down here. And so kind of at the end is where I want to have the putting green. So we'll go with grass surface two around here. And I just want to make another like little something or other to show where that line ends so that I can remember kind of where I started and uh, I can I can delete this this path so that I can work in this area. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we want grass surface too. And then all we're going to do is make a nice little area and we're going to turn off all of our snapping that way, because with it, with it on, it's hard to make like a nice circle because it wants to go in a straight line. So we, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is turn off all of our snapping and then we can make a lot of little small increments to make a nice round kind of patch. And it's definitely like a little bit of a finicky process to do this but I think it'll really look nice when we're all finished. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. There we have our putting green. So now we have the beginning is over here and the end is over here. So we'll go through and do a couple little sand traps now. Same deal, we don't want any of our snapping on and these can be a little bit more oddly shaped if we want. Okay, and now that's nice and simple. I guess you probably want a a surface, a, gra a green grass surface at the front as well, kind of where you tee off from. So we'll make a nice little other circle here. And then basically you just keep repeating the process, right? So then what we'll do here is we'll grab our grass surface too 
And this is going to be uh, the slightly trickier part because now we have these ones down and we can't overlap them. So now what we want to do is add the other grass texture. So we'll open up the dev menu again and go to surfaces and that back to normal. And we want grass surface number one is what we were going to use. Now I can't unfortunately just like go over all these. Like I said, there is a way around that. So what we're going to do is pull off from over here nice little distance and we're gonna just create a new a new section oh and I want to turn off all my snapping again we'll make a nice big section encompassing everything that we can and it's gonna have to be in a couple steps because as we breach new surfaces we're gonna have to adjust things and we'll have to do this in a couple different patches and hopefully it turns out okay. So we're going to go ahead and we'll see what it looks like, I guess. And it's going to keep giving me an overlapping items menu until I'm finished. Okay, so I actually did end up installing Anarchy and I'll go through and kind of fix this stuff off camera and or during a full detailing time lapse. But essentially this is what you can end up with. You can't super tell the difference between the two different grass textures from above, but I, I think it's okay. I think especially when you get down close and you can really see the difference. I, I think it looks, I think it looks okay. It could look better. I wish that there wasn't like the texture kind of edge, um, but that's kind of just a general problem with all of the textures and I'll run into the same problem when creating a beach later as well. But essentially that is how it's done. And so I think now if I've, since I've installed Anarchy, I know that I can place them over top of one another. I'm just curious exactly what that looks like and if you can still tell the difference or not. And you can. Um, I don't. I think that maybe that even looks better because it, you can see the different colors. So I might try that again for the next one. Um, see if I can find the surface again. There we are. There we go. It's underneath it, and yeah. So I might try that for the next one. But essentially, that is that is a way that you can make a golf course. So basically, what I'm going to go through now is keeping the game paused because I don't want us to go too far ahead into into time. Um, is do up the rest of the actual the greens, the golf courses. And when I'm finished with that, they're having high run problems. There's nothing out here. Anyway, when I finish with that, we'll kind of see how it looks and start putting in the houses.
Okay, so that is all of the uh, golf course golf courses done. Um, again, I'll probably go back through and at least redo this one. Um, but for now, I'm going to go through and go ahead and start zoning things up. So obviously what we want to do is press play so we can actually get this thing going. And then we're going to go into our zones. And then we have, of course, this new zoning type. And we want... We want European on this side, just because this is our European side of the map. We've kept to that, I think, for the most part, as completely, as far as I know, unless I've missed places here and there. But we've kept it all all uh, European on this side, so we're going to keep that going. And I think I want to be a pretty specific with how we zone things, especially like in and around the actual golf courses here. So we definitely don't want things on the inside areas here. So we'll keep things just out here. And I want them relatively big, um, but also a little bit spaced out. So we'll go through and I'll kind of specifically zone some nice areas up. And especially when we have spots like this that are kind of disconnected already, we'll give them nice big areas there. And we'll put one over here. And again, we don't want, uh, we don't want them getting too close actually to the golf course. So we'll get rid of these guys here. And these ones will be fine, uh, especially since this is where you tee off. This isn't the end of the golf course. Um, so, but that's obviously something we want to keep in mind here while we go ahead and zone these in. And we'll go ahead and maybe do one small one here. I will put trees and everything through here so that, oops, I've gone and done the wrong one already. I restart all of these. I did regular European, not our waterfront housing, which I want to switch out. There we go. And they'll regrow, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, but again, I'll put trees and everything in here to kind of block off these houses. But, uh, you know, that is something that you do see in the real world. Uh, one of my aunts used to live on a golf course, and every once in a while, yes, a ball would fly towards their home. Maybe not, maybe not actually hit it, but very close. So... I'm okay with I'm okay with that being the case here, and we'll try to keep it at to a minimum to kind of like minimize that I guess, but we're not gonna worry about it. It happens in real life. It can happen in the game, so we'll go ahead and leave it just like that. And so I'm gonna go through and continue zoning up this entire area, and since I'm just gonna be very specific with it, it'll take a little bit more time than just zoning it all up. So I'll go ahead and speed through that. I was talking to myself for a little while with the um, 
without without the mic on. So I don't know how long that has been. I'll have to, when I edit this, I'll see and maybe I'll have a little note in there. Um, hopefully some of it had included me talking about placing these houses. I have no idea when I turned that off. So apologies for that, but um, I went through and go, I went ahead and put together the bridge. So now it connects on both sides, crosses over the lake, and then also we have this little windy path to, uh, you know, save everybody's thighs from burning going over this bridge and coming back to the rest of the, of course. So I really like how it's turned out so far. And of course, it still needs to be fully detailed. I still need to redo this one, but that will require me to restart the game as I have closed out the developer mode again. So I'll, I'll, I promise I will fix this before we get into the cinematics. I will have adjusted this. But, pending again on, on how much I cut myself off there and did not record, well, let's turn off this for the damn area. music. Um, don't want him talking to me. So, yeah, I might have to do a little bit of a voiceover for that. We'll see how things go. Anyway, what we're going to do now is jump into like a full detailing time apps and get all of our trees started. I was talking before and cut myself off about using, I, I did install the tree, tree controller mod so that I can have adult trees. So I can place them like in a nice big line, all kinds of fun stuff. So I'm gonna just go nuts in here with all of these new tools that I've got available to me. And I will, uh, I'll check back with you when we're done and see how it all turns out.
All right, so we are finally done. This was a big one. This was a pretty pretty intensive build, and it could have gotten... To our oh, let me turn off. I've had to restart again, so of course we've got ads on. Oh, God. Um, so, of course it could be quite... It could be even more intensive, really, if I wanted it to be by, you know, going through and, you know, individually placing some of these things, like a bunch of these rocks and things, and, and filling it out a little bit more and, you know getting down into like the micro detailing but i think for this episode we're going to go ahead and call it quits it's been two whole hours of recording so far and i've cut out a bunch of stuff already by accident and forgotten to record things so it could easily be two and a half hours by now uh so we're gonna go ahead of course the video won't be that long but that is all we're gonna do today so i've gone through and with some of the fun brush detailing stuff with the mods I've gone through and did a little bit of some pines, mostly around where the golf courses are. So like having some thicker trees to kind of protect the homes that are on the side with the golf courses on it. And then done a lot of palm trees and rocks kind of in the middle, which I think has looked come out, turned out really nicely. And some bush patterns as well. It's kind of hard to tell the bushes, but they're in there. Um, and then really all I did otherwise was, oh, you know, at some point we did unlock our other signature building for the, for the beach asset stuff. And I think I put it over here. Yeah. So we did place this guy as well, um, which was only, I think, 2,500 cells. So that one was an easy one to get. This one would have just been impossible. So, you know, I'm, I'm okay to have cheated to get that one uh, just because I think it really really add something to the build and it would just it just wouldn't look right without it so i'm really pleased with that and then over here i've just gone ahead and added a bunch of services so we have a police station a medical clinic and a firehouse to sort of take care of this entire area hopefully we'll see these houses level up because of that um it looks like they're pretty happy right now so we were getting a couple neutral folks but i think with the addition of the services people should be be becoming happier so Again, let me know what you think about whether or not we should turn this kind of waterfront area into like actual beach using some of the surfaces. But for now, I am going to leave it. So I really hope that you enjoyed the build today. I had a lot of fun building it. Um, it was very mm, finicky and very, uh, I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but a very intensive build, a very time consuming build. So I, I wouldn't suggest that you try this in your own city unless you have a lot of time on your hands to do it. Um, because it, it does, it is quite a process to get kind of all of these surfaces done in here. But I think the results are really stunning. So I'm happy to have taken the time to do it. I think it looks really good. So, um, but with that, I will leave you with some cinematics to enjoy of this lovely build on your way out. And as always, if you enjoyed this build, feel free to leave a like below to let me know that you enjoyed it. Let me... You know, and if you have any comments, oh, and if you have a name for this area, also leave that in the comments below. Uh, I do have one thing to name, which I'll, I'll get into in the next episode because this one's already been a long time. But uh, somebody did give me a great suggestion for our school complex we built uh, last week. So I will name that in the next video. Feel free to let me know what you enjoyed about the build and what you think of it um, down in the comments below. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to the channel already, but you are enjoying what you're seeing here and you want to see more of the city, and you want to see more of City Skylines 2 content in general, feel free to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications so you, that you don't miss the next one. Um, otherwise, that is where I'm going to leave it with you all for today. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.